Hi, and welcome to this clip going through um, the uh, iodine thiosulfate question I set um, for remote learning day. Um, so, uh, let's look at it from the beginning. Your copper 2 ions oxidize iodide ions to iodine, which is your first equation. And uh, then after that, the iodine that's produced can be titrated with standard thiosulfate solution, and from the amount of iodine produced, the concentration of the copper 2 ions in the solution will be calculated. So the actual titration is this second reaction. So just to clarify, you have to react the copper with something, uh, that's your iodide, and the copper will turn the iodide into iodine, and then your iodine that's produced will be titrated with thiosulfate. So your titration you do in the lab is the second reaction, and the reaction that you do first is to turn the copper into a copper compound of some kind, copper iodide in this case, but you're making iodine, and the iodine can react with the thiosulfate. So, to focus on the data you're given, first thing you need to do is work out what do you have enough information to work out the moles of. So you've got the volume and the concentration for the thiosulfate. So you can work out the moles of thiosulfate. And from the balanced equation, you can see it's equation number two I'm looking at. In the titration equation, uh, the mole ratio of thiosulfate to iodine is 2 to 1. So we end up with 8.55 times 10 to the minus 4 moles of iodine. And the copper is twice the moles of the iodine, which means the copper and the thiosulfate will have the same number of moles. So it's 1.71 times 10 to the minus 3 again. So the mass of the copper present is 0.108585 grams. And what you now have to do is work out the percentage of copper in the crystals. But before you do that, you have to remember that the titration was done on a 25 centimeter cube portion. So you've got to multiply that up by 10 to work out how much copper was in 250 centimeters cubed, which gives us 1.08585 grams. Now we can do the percentage by mass. And that gives us 25.51% purity. Or rather, 25.51% copper in the crystals. Okay, so thanks for listening and uh, catch up soon.